No, you stay in Scarborough for the time being. Nick might try and phone you. Look, Mum, if he contacts me, I'll let you know. Hello, Tate's Veterinary Surgery. Linda speaking. How can I help you? Yes, yeah, someone will get back to you. Who is that? T Tina Dingle. She was going on about where your dad's dog's going to stay when they go away on holiday. What is he thinking? Striking a blow at Kim. Oh, I know how it must seem. I have got to talk to him about it, but he's got enough to deal with at the moment. But Zoe, your dad going on holiday with Tina Dingle? The Tina Dingle of the Dingle family. Linda, don't, please. But if they do go away together, what are people going to say? What's Betty going to say? What did Biff have to say about Nick? Oh, they still don't know where he is. Oh, poor Nick. Was your brother in the habit of carrying shotgun cartridges with him? I'm sorry, but you're making him sound like some dangerous criminal. He shot and killed a man last night, Miss Bates. We're taking no chances with him. <laughs> but you must know what happened. Nick didn't shoot him down in cold blood. It must have been an accident. People who are involved in accidents don't usually take to the hills. Right, I'm on my way. I'll be about an hour. Right. Promise me you won't let them rip the thatch off the roof. It's one of the last unspoiled pubs around here. I promise. I'm a designer, not a demolisher. It's my job to improve buildings. Thank goodness I've caught you. I need a lift. Where to? Hotton. I'm sorry, I'm going the opposite way. Oh, everywhere seems to be the opposite way round here. No buses, taxis cost a fortune. If you don't drive a car, have a horse, you're finished. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, Susie. Anyway, why do you want to go to Hotton? I've got an appointment with the bank manager. Some of these houses don't have a downstairs cloakroom. No, I don't believe that. You'd be telling me next to those guides there's only room for two cars. No. I want an Arger, if possible. One that does the central heating as well as heats the water. We'll have to see what they've got to offer. The hospital scan should be priority today. One thing at a time, eh? What makes you think he's going to come up here, Seth? He knows that lots of Bobby's looking for him. I only hope he knows his mates are looking out for him and all. This is where I'd make for. Everybody has the fixed points. Animals and birds and all. Otherwise, nobody will find anybody else. We'll wait here a while till he comes to us. He ain't got much option. It's my own fault. I should never have relied on you. Right now, I'm the only one you can rely on, and you know it. Do you know what low-life perverts those badger trappers are? Anybody gets pleasure out of torturing defenseless animals, I'm going to worry about who they hurt trying to get away. Assuming Nick acted in self-defense. That or an accident. Either way, we should have had a proper security firm in that area. Not a pensioner and a gardener. Anyway, what's done is done. It's up to the solicitors now. I wonder where Nick is. Could be miles away by now. I'll bet he's not more than six, seven hundred yards. Not if he's got any sense. What do you think about it? He's not a villain, so he's got no network to fall back on. He's no Seth who could live off the land. He's just a frightened lad with a young daughter to worry about. And we've got to do our best for him. Somebody to see you, Frank. Thanks, Tina. You keep me informed of everything that's going on. I will. sound like he's too pleased with you. Don't you go winding me up. I'm onto your game and don't forget it. You've got me wrong. I didn't wish to wind you up. I just wanted to thank you again for that 20 quid you gave me. You don't know what you're taking on. You're trash. Whatever do you mean? And anyway, I didn't buy a suitcase with the money because Frank said I could borrow one of his. Real leather at that. And instead I bought some nice, cool underwear. I might need it where I'm going, don't you think? Be very careful. I'm warning you. Yeah, I got these for you. Thanks very much, but you shouldn't have. I wanted to. You're being great with me. Only well, doing my job. But you are a bit special. I'll see you in outpatient soon. I look forward to it. Bye. See ya. 
Thanks for everything, Lou. She wasn't the only one to fancy me, you know. You cock a little devil. I'm glad I ain't missed you. How are you feeling, son? I'm all right. She's nurses she should be worrying about. I'm missing me loads already. <gasps> and how are you? All right. Can I have one of these, Dad? No. Vic? Do a pound each. Look, love, don't you think it'd be a better idea if you used to make a card for Roy? You know, rather than just taking it out of the shop. Make one. Get real, Dad. Don't be so tight. I told her she could have one, and that's that. The poor lad could have lost his whole arm. I don't see why an accident up at the Glovers has got to end up costing me money. Hiya. Watch out. You heard the news? Aye, ah, yeah, poor Nick. He's not been caught yet. I'll just be talking to a copper. No, no, he'd be all right. He's just had an accident and panicked. I'm on about the big news. What are you on about? Frank Tate is taking Tina Dingle away on holiday. You're joking. Where's Daddy? Look, I've told you, Alice, uh, he's doing something for Frank Tate. Betty said he was running somewhere. Oh, Betty's old and she gets things wrong sometimes. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Did I tell you about that steam cooker? A what? Why don't you sit down here for a minute and talk a bit of business, eh? <sighs> a steam cooker? It'll revolutionise your business. Change your life, in fact. And the cost? Well, new, about a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Now, that could change my life. Will you let me finish? <laughs> I can get you one for about 400, maybe even less. So what exactly does it do? Oh, what doesn't it do? It does magic. You see, Alice, the water goes in here. Or is it here? No, it can't be in there, because that's where the steam comes out. Or goes in. Anyway, the food goes... No, it can't go in there, because the door's over here. So we open the door, but not when it's on, mind you, because then the steam will come out before the food goes in. And then you know what will happen. You'll end up serving steam soup in bowls. Have you ever tasted steam soup, Alice? It's not nice. I'm hungry, Seth. Come on, Nick. Time to go. With the gun, lad. I've hidden it. We've got to take it with us. Is he dead? since Alice was born has been for her good. And now I've gone and done this. I'm going to lose her, aren't I? Now, don't talk like that, lad. You're such a poacher at eat at moment. They'll treat it as an accident. Yeah, and if they hadn't have been after the badgers, this would never have happened. They're going to give you a benefit of doubt. Uh, they'll know who I am, won't they? The coppers. Uh, the poachers, Biff. Suppose they take it out on Alice. Don't worry about her. There's police everywhere. Best bet is for you to get back as soon as you can and sort this out. They'll look after you and Alice. Need to see her before they take me away. They will let me see her, won't they? I don't know, Nick. But the sooner you get back there and sort it out, the better. Yeah, Seth's right. If you give yourself up, this is bound to go in your favour. Oh, I don't know what happened to me. It's as if I was dreaming. As if I was watching somebody else do it. I can still see him now snarling at me. <sighs> Saying I hadn't the guts to shoot. I just snapped. I couldn't take any more abuse. It was as if everything bad that had ever happened was staring me in the face. Come on, son. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can you tell if it's going to be a boy or a girl? What do you want to know? No. Well, it's not natural, is it? <laughs> and this is. Well, you know what I mean. I wouldn't mind a photo, though. You wouldn't be able to make out what it is. I know what it is. It's our future. I want to show me, Mum. Yeah, it's no problem. You can have a picture. Now can we go and look for a house? Yes. I'm arresting you for the murder of Jeremy Connell on the 11th of April, 1996. I need you do not to have tell her to say that anything, you're taking me away. But it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned... She's only five, for God's which you sake, and I'm a dad! In court. Anything you do say... Please, her mother doesn't want inevitable. to know her! Take him away. Please just let me see my daughter. Please! Susie, what's wrong? What's happened? I've just met the most stupid bank manager in Yorkshire. That's what's happened. Oh, you didn't get the loan. He laughed at me, Emma. He won't even extend my overdraft. What am I going to do? Oh, sorry to disturb you. Just came to say I'm going to see Dad. We'll see if we can get him bail after he's made a statement. I want all this sorted out before I go on holiday. Might be worth thinking about postponing it under the circumstances. Chris, after all I've been through recently, I think I deserve a break. And they do have phones in the Caribbean. Hey, you're going on holiday to rest, not to worry. Quite right. I'll leave the worrying to the solicitors. They can start right now. What sort of state was Nick in? I didn't see him. Do you want a cup of tea? There's one made. No. I don't know why you're being so funny with me. Somebody has to look after your dad. I'm being funny with you, as you put it, because I know your game. This must be like a dream come true for you. Yeah, it is. A luxury holiday in the Caribbean is absolutely fantastic. I'm earning me pay. Don't come the faithful servant routine with me. I know where you come from, what your family is. You leave my family out of this, no matter what you think of them. They're a degenerate bunch of inbred parasites and you're just a money-grabbing little tart on the make. If I was just that, wouldn't I have taken your bribe not to go away? You just think you can make more out of my father. There's a name for women like you. Chris, don't you dare talk to her like that. And trying to bribe her was stupid and pointless. She has a job to do. Look, I don't want you to be the talk of the village. I don't want you under pressure, especially from her. Oh, really? Then shouldn't you be encouraging her? I might just drop dead of a heart attack while I'm on holiday and then you can start carving up the cake. Dad, I'm only thinking of you. Oh, yeah. And those badger baiters are animal lovers. Chris, don't you dare talk to Tina or anyone else under my roof like that again. Right. I think I'll have my dessert now. You got a visitor? Who's that, then? All right, Roy, how are you? Oh, not so bad. My mum sent these for you. Chocolates and flowers. Cards from me. Cheers. Sit yourself down, look. Make yourself at home. Oh, <laughs> it's a big bandage, Roy. Ah, serious accident. On it, Dad. Yeah, it was. Uh... Who's the picture of? Like I said, this is my own private nurse. Setting a notice off in Kelly. I said to her, is it right me having a bed bath twice a day? Roy Glover! Right, I'm off down at Sugden's then. Right. I thought you and me were all right now. You've still got a lot to answer for. <sighs> still stuck into that paper? What are you after? I'm just looking. Never known anyone like you for looking at the adverts. Where is everybody? Mandy's gone for some veg. The lads are out looking for somebody in case there's a reward. And uh, Tina's with a sugar daddy. He's not her sugar daddy. She's his housekeeper. Simple as that. He's taking his house to the West Indies, is he? He needs help while travelling. He's not a well man. Oh, and you believe that? I think you're stupid letting her go. I always say a man's a man who knows how to control his kids. Yeah. They've got him. Since when has any dingle done coppers work for him? Uncle Ishmael, we're always up in police with their inquiries. No. Oh, where have you two been? Out looking for Nick Bates in case of a reward after him. He gave himself up. Give himself up? He should have let us catch him. We would have shared reward. I didn't hear about any reward. I'm ashamed of him. I don't want to talk about it again. I feel sorry for the lad. And you want to talk to your Tina? No. Oh, uh, Tina, could I have a... No, a word? 
Degenerate. How's that to be going on with? <coughs> Rest must have done you good. You're right. Yeah, not so bad yourself. Yeah. Hey, do you want to see a picture of your future niece or nephew? David, why would he? Because they're brilliant. Looks like a satellite picture of a cloud formation or something. <laughs> I hope he's got no idea what there is in store for it. There's no need for that one. Well, we're talking generally, you know, wars, man's inhumanity to man, nothing personal. I thought you'd be looking forward to being a grandmother. Getting matinee jackets and all that. She can't wait. Can you, Mom? No, lad. Like I've nought else to do. Kim was only making conversation about baby, that's all. Go and put kettle on. Must we stay for tea? Well, you have had a hard day with the scan business and trying to decide on a new house. Sounds like hell. Trying to find somewhere after living at home farm is, as you can imagine. Must be as big a shock for Tina Dingle moving up as it is for you moving down. How do you reckon she'll cope with this Caribbean holiday, then? She'll obviously be treated as a servant. Yeah, she'll likely end up the next lady of the manor. Tina Tate does have a that sort of ring to it. Ah, a wedding ring. <laughs> How's Ned? Recovered from his binge yet? What binge? I don't know what you find so fascinating in these adverts, Marilyn. B day, seldom used. Safety gate and iron. Brackets needs attention for sale. They're all like that. I'm only taking an interest. Oh, I'd sooner will find plenty to interest there. This is paradise. If your father knew his duty, she wouldn't be allowed to go on holiday. I just hope she comes back and doesn't do a runner on us like my mum. Well, start your blubbering again. Hello, Sam Dingle. How may I help you? Swimming pools with a bar in the middle. Hey, Dad, can we build a swimming pool? I'll see if I can find one in these here adverts. Who's on the phone, Sam? No, it's what do you want? You phone me, Sam Dingle. And then I'll phone 1471 and then 3. Oh. Where are you then? Hey, Leeds United season ticket for sale. I'm not surprised. It's happened again, Dad. What has? I've picked it up and there's been no one there. Mr Pollard told me this trick where you can find out who's been phoning you. That was some phone box in Northampton. Some bloke just passing by answered it. It's happened loads of times now. From Northampton? No, Plymouth first, then lots of other places. Like somebody was making their way up the country. And you've always phoned back? Yeah. It's a good trick, isn't it? It's not a trick, cloth-head. Them calls have to be paid for. Oh, sorry. I can't believe you. What are you doing? I don't know, but I've got to do something. You've done enough. And why did you have to mention me dad getting drunk? To stop all that smug talk about Frank and Tina Dingle. They were making me feel about a foot high. Why should it matter to you who he goes on all day with? Oh, get real, David. Do you think I'm going to stand by and let that little trollop make a laughing stock out of me? If people are going to be laughing, they're going to be laughing at Frank T. Forget it. No. Where are you going? To put her in a place. I can fathom away through all this lot. Look, can I see him now? No, sorry. He'll be up before the magistrates tomorrow and we'll have to see how things go from there. What about Bill? To be decided tomorrow. How is he? So-so. His thoughts are all over the place at the moment. And he's very concerned about his little girl. Well, tell him not to worry. She's with Betty, a neighbour. Has he got a solicitor? One's well, been in touch. He's via Frank Tate, but Nick won't see him. Why have I not? Well, like I say, he's very confused and depressed at the moment, which isn't unusual. I'm sure come tomorrow he'll be more able to cope. In the meantime, there's really nothing you can do, and I'd advise you to go home. Do you want me to contact social services about his daughter? No. No. I'll look after her. Kim, leave it for now, will you? I'm not going with you. Oh, please yourself. I've come this far and I'm not going back until I've seen her. Oh, God. How? This has got to be the worst place on earth. Your sister's been and gone, Nick. How's Alice? It's 
Somebody called Betty is looking after her till they get back. Does she know I'm in here? I don't think so. Your sister seems to have everything in hand. Thanks. Of all the things to do to get back at Kim, this takes a biscuit. Tina Dingle in the Caribbean. I said I'd make Kim suffer for what she did to me. Yes, but you didn't say that I'd have to endure the gossip as well. And Chris is up a bit Put him in his place. I know you can, Kev. And I want you to keep me informed about Nick. I want to show that loyalty works both ways. I wish I'd known what I was taking on with you as a father. And I wish I could see Kim's face when she finds out. Oh, it's Lady Muck. And she's been rolling it by the look of her. Ah, now we know how the odds and sods feel when Princess Diana turns up. Where is she? Oh, Lady Diana. Tina. I want to talk to her. Upstairs, sorting out her clothes for her holiday. We'll get her, please. And quickly. Hey, Lady Muck. You might have been our landlady once, but you're now now. Ah, oh, Tina might be our next landlady. Aye, after looking after your husband on holiday. <laughs> Would you like to try some turnip and sod soup while you're waiting? There's a fresh batch simmering. Hello, Kim. What brings you here, then? I think you know damn well. And don't think you're going to get away with it. Could somebody get in touch with Mystic Meg, then I might have a clue as to what she's going on about. Oh, you might well think you've won the lottery with my husband. You might have got the better of Chris and Zoe. But I'm in a different league, madam. And don't you forget it. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. All I can see is a bloated, pregnant woman covered in pig muck. And I'm not impressed or frightened by your threats. Now, I'm going on holiday with Frank. And I'm going to do my best so as we both enjoy it. I'll have you for breakfast, you little scrubber. <laughs> I'll tell Frank that when we're having breakfast by the pool. Hey, make sure it's one of them ones with bar in middle art, Tina. If you weren't pregnant, I'd slap you round your made-up gob and boot you right out of here. Shift it, Kim, before I lose my temper. I'd take you on any time. You ain't got Frank's cash behind you now. <laughs> Are you going to have that father and daughter talk to her now? About her going away? Yeah, I've got a passport, haven't you, love? Aye. And who knows where it'll lead me to, Dad? <laughs> 